So I know on your podcast, uh, your listeners learn how to maintain a positive mindset, which is very valuable and helpful if you want to be successful and happy. Um, I love that. But what I want to share with your audience is a perspective so that they know how to go from, you know, having sort of a negative mindset and then you apply a tool and you get a positive mindset. But then, of course, you go back to a negative mindset and then you have some scarcity thinking and then you use a certain visualization tool to then get abundance thinking. But then you go out back to scarcity thinking. I want to show your listeners how it's possible to go from having a positive mindset temporarily to having a positive mindset permanently. And I know you're thinking, Daniel, that sounds good, but that's not the way it works. I am telling you, for me, and I'll explain how, uh, I went from somebody who just had constant scarcity. You're not good enough. What's wrong with you? You're broken. You're terrible. What's the point? Just constant, uh, horrible, fake news blasting in my brain 24 hours a day to now, and I wish you could like see inside my brain. Uh, actually, I don't. That would be horribly messy. But you would see that my mind is not only quiet consistently, but when it does talk, it says nice things. Yeah, I'll look in the mirror, even though I'm getting older and I'm losing my hair, my mind will be like, Daniel, you are one sexy mofo. And I'm like, thank you, positive mind. I don't say that because it's my new way of being. And this is what I want for your audience. Now, how is that possible? How is it possible that that's not temporary, but permanent? Well, it's possible because of an understanding of engineering of our inner world. What does that mean? So most people see and understand this idea of the negative mindset and they realize it's better to have a positive mindset. So what they do is they see their negative mindset and then they use tools and techniques they've learned to get to a positive mindset. However, what I want your audience to understand is your negative scarcity mindset, it's not just a thing that appears out of nowhere. It is in fact a symptom. It is a symptom of your body. Your body has fear in it, and then your mind is linked to your body, and your mind starts to have fearful negative thoughts. Have you ever noticed that usually when you feel better, your mind tends to focus on the good things in your life a little bit more easily, and then when you're feeling scared and worried and anxious, your mind tends to start notice on the problems and the things not working in your life? Yeah, that's not a coincidence. That is the way that you are wired reflexively to stay alive. And to stay alive, the way we are mechanically wired is that your body feels things first. Your body sends messages to you that tells you what the body needs, and then the mind senses what the body needs, and then the mind is a tool to get the body what it needs to stay alive. For instance, if you are hungry, you'll feel hunger in the body first, then the mind senses that hunger, and then the mind kicks in and says, oh, we're hungry, we better figure out how to get food. If you're, you know, metaphorically in the jungle, and you hear something in the bushes, and your body feels fear in the body first, then your mind senses the fear in the body, and the mind says, oh, there's a threat or a problem, we better start focusing on this threat or problem to get us to safety. You are wired such that if there is fear in the body, you will have fear in the mind. So I want to explain to you that your body is consistently in a state of fear. Your mind then senses that fear and that's why it goes to negative town. Not because you have a negative mindset. It's not something you caught or a disease you got on a train, it is reflexive. It is your body trying to keep you alive. So if you if your mind keeps going negative and you're like, why does it keep going negative? Why does it keep going negative? Have some compassion for yourself and understand as long as your body feels afraid, your mind is gonna feel afraid too. How do we know this? Well, because our program that we designed and engineered It basically calms the body down permanently. It repairs the nervous system and the nervous system goes completely calm. And when the nervous system calms down, so then does the mind because the mind is a symptom of the body. And this is not just theory. We have data. When people go through our online program, we are numerically tracking not only how much fear do they have in their body, but how much fear do they have in their mind. And we can very clearly track the two levels and they are one to one linked. As clients, nervous system calms down and they feel less and less fearful feelings, they feel less and less fearful, aka scarcity, uh, negative 
thoughts. Another reason that you have data on this is because there's another data set, a group of people who have a relatively calm, healthy nervous system and their thoughts are pretty healthy. We call this group children. Okay, our program basically resets your nervous system back to the way you were when you were like four or five years old. And kids primarily, guess what? They're like the most healthy, positive mindset people on the planet. When you ask a kid, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? They'll say, I want to be an astronaut, fighter, pilot, ballerina, president, unicorn. Like, Kids do not have negative mindset issues. They are full of possibility and creativity. When a kid says, I want to I want to go to the park and play tag, they don't say, wow, I'm really focusing on all the people who won't teach me, and then I'm manifesting that. They don't talk like that. They just go to the park and play tag. They have tons of energy, tons of optimism. You look at kids, so much hope and possibility. And if you ask a kid, oh, why are you so optimistic? They don't say, oh, well, I learned to, I went to Tony Robbins, and I learned to awaken the giant from within. They don't have to awaken the giant from within. There's just a big giant of optimism and positivity, and it's permanent and a default because they have a relatively healthy nervous system, and thus they have a relatively healthy mind. And again, this is not, does not just apply to children, but to adults, because for myself, and all the clients that we go through in our program, not only does their body calm down, but so does their mind. So why does this benefit you? Right now, you have a uncalm body creating a uncalm, scared mind. And then what you're doing is you're using these tools and techniques to shift from a scared mind to a positive mind or a scarcity mind to an abundance mind. mind. But you're constantly having to do it and constantly managing it. It's okay, it's better than nothing, but it's very inefficient. What if you could repair your nervous system so that your nervous system is just calm, permanently, all the time? It's healthy. And because you don't have fear in your body, now you don't have fear in your mind. If you can understand why that's just way better, if you can understand that instead of constantly applying tools to be positive, you can see the value and how efficient it would be to just be more like a kid again where you feel good and you have tons of optimism and your natural optimism is just a default state. There's no such thing as negative thinking because you're always in a state of positive, optimist, creative thinking. If that sounds good to you, which it should be because that's where I live now and it is so much better if you can see that when you take all that energy from managing your negative mind and just putting all that energy into being a leader and an entrepreneur and showing up for yourself and your community and the people that you care about, if you can see why that is just so much better or at least more efficient and you want help with that, please come find us because that's what we can get you.